Hello, my witty gamers. My name is Olga. I'm a professional English teacher and a huge fan of video games and geek culture as a whole. That's why on this channel, we mix pleasure with business. We play games, we watch trailers, TV shows, movies, read books, and improve your English. This is a new video series, and it's gonna be English only. So for those of you who want a bit more challenge, welcome. For this first-of-a-kind video, I chose a special game. It's called Stray, and it's about cats. So today, we'll find out what Stray means, as well as learn to describe cat features, their appearance, their looks, and their daily routines. So how does this work? First, you watch the video, have fun. Second, you pay attention to the words I highlight. At the end of the video, you revise all these words and phrases, and you and your English are just awesome. Simple as that. All right, let's get started. Cats must not wait too long. Okay, so this is where we start. Wow. It's night, full moon. Where is our cat? Where is our cat? Ah, not one. Okay. Our game is called Stray, so let's quickly look at what stray means. We have pets, yeah? A pet is an animal that is kept in the home as a companion dogs, cats, hamsters, horses, and many, many other types of pets are there in the world. But if an animal gets separated from its owner, from the home, or this animal has no owner at all, we can call it a stray. It can be a noun, I found a stray in the street. Or it can be an adjective, like this. I found a stray cat, or I found a stray dog in the street. The same word, both noun and adjective. So if you see a homeless pet, or a homeless cat, dog, any other animal, you can call it stray, or a stray. So here we can see there is a bunch of cats with no owner, they live in the street, they live outside, so they are stray. Okay, so how many cats are there? One, two, three, four. Four cats. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, so this is us, yeah? Is this us? Yeah. As you can see, guys, all the cats are different. This is us, this is cat number one, cat number two, and cat number three. So, first of all, we need to know how to describe a cat. So let's have a look at different words that can help us here. First of all, let's have a look at types of cat patterns we can see, most common ones. First, if a cat is one color, it has one color, for example, black or white, we can call it solid color. In our case, we will see red color or ginger it's the same. Ginger is a kind of red. If a cat has two colors, we can call it bicolor. Black and white, for example. Also, if a cat has two colors, but it also has this unique pattern where you can see one color around its eyes, we can call it color point. Because it has some points of color on it. Also, if a cat has three colors, we can call it tricolor, a tricolor cat. Very typical ones and very cute ones. If a cat looks like this, we can say it has stripes. Each thing like this or this is a stripe. The pattern is called tabby. So this is a tabby cat, a cat with stripes. If we talk about cat appearance, of course, we must remember that they have hair or fur. We can use both words. So this cat has some fur or hair. 
We have three types, three basic types of hair or fur. Short hair, long hair, or bold, hairless. I suppose you know these cats. You can call them bold cats or hairless cats. A cat with long hair, long fur, and a cat with short hair or short fur. The cats we will see in this episode will be all with short hair or short fur. Okay, so let's see. This cat is what? It's, it has solid color. It's full black. Solid color, yeah? This cat, I think it's bicolor, I guess, yeah? Red and um, white. Or ginger and white, you can say. And this cat is also bicolor. Uh, also more white and less red. And what about us? How would you describe our... I'll give you a few seconds to think and I'll give you the right answer after that. So our cat has red or ginger hair or fur. We can call it hair or fur. And we have stripes as I can see. Yeah, so it's um what we call tabby. Yeah, remember tabby. So that's what we call tabby. So we have a tabby red cat. Wow. Cool. Cool. I like red cats. They they seem so badass, you know. Okay, so what can we do here? What can we do here? Let's try. Oh, they're playing. Nice. This cat is rubbing. Okay, and now we are rubbing. <laughs> oh, and they are grooming each other. Okay, and what about this one? Aha, uh -huh. and here I think we will go to sleep. Let's have a look what, what we have here. Hmm, access control system. And some danger sign. So this is, I assume, is um, some sort of power plant a power plant so it's like a um, place where the energy is produced we can produce energy from water nuclear power and other things and i don't know which one this is okay anyways um we've seen a few routines that our cats did so let's have a look at the words that can help us describe these things i love this picture because there are so many actions we can see uh, with cats first of all what does a cat say the cat says meow you can also use it as a verb my cat meowed my cat meows a lot let's start with this one so a cat can rub rub is to press or be pressed against something with some kind of repeated actions you can see you can see from this picture what this means cat loves that cat loves rubbing also cat loves grooming they can groom themselves or each other grooming means to clean usually an animal or if an animal cleans itself it's grooming licking brushing the fur everything like that it would be grooming when cats are grooming they can lick their parts <laughs> the parts of their body so this is licking this cat is licking itself after a cat licks you it usually bites you <laughs> so every lick comes with a bite this cat is biting a human's hand biting to bite next cats stretch a lot stretch is when a cat makes its body straight and makes this shape of its spine to exercise all the parts of its body. So it's stretching. This cat is stretching. And of course, we all know that cats can be very naughty. They can scratch things. So this cat is scratching a sofa. But at the same time, scratch means this. Usually cats scratch their ears or neck. Yeah, doing this. To scratch means to cut or damage a surface like this or yourself, 
your skin slightly or not slightly with something sharp or tough. So it's always something tough, like a leg. That's it. Now you know a lot about cat, cat daily routine. So let's go to sleep then, I guess. Oh no, no sleeping, playing. Nice. <laughs> Okay, and now, now we're going to sleep, yeah? Are we? Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, it's morning now? A sunny morning. A butterfly. Hmm. Oh. So they are not speaking. We, we don't hear anything. They have their own way of communication. Ah, we're going somewhere. <laughs> He's looking at us like, come on, come on. Oh, see? Yeah, yeah. Inside the wall. So this is like a big wall. And uh, I think it's a, a water power plant or something, uh, but it's something big, something big. And we are inside of this facility, of this um, place. Maybe it's a nu nuclear power plant. Hmm. Where are we going? Oh, we're stretching. See, <laughs> we're stretching. It's the best way to start a day for a cat. Okay, what can we do? Press B to meow. Of course, we will do that. Oh, they're talking to me. Meow. I can do that too. So, see, guys, they are, uh, three of them are red and white. We are full red, but still. Uh, and one is black. What does it mean? Are we brothers and sisters, siblings, and this is our just friend? I don't know. Okay, so let's go. I guess we can jump at least. I guess. Yep. Ooh, good. What is it? Ah, we can scratch. We can scratch uh, this tree. So we can scratch things. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's go. There? Okay. Wow. Super nice. What is this? Ah, so we can drink from different uh, sources. <laughs> so in this case, we are drinking from a puddle. A puddle is this thing, a small where we can see a small amount of water, usually after a rain or something. What we're seeing here is a puddle. So we are drinking from a puddle. Okay, let's go. Let's continue. What else? Do we have? Oh, we can jump down. Wow. Huge waterfall. Okay. I think we should go this way. No drinking. We drank enough. Just following our friends here. Oh, pigeons.
Oh, okay. Isn't this dangerous? Oh, I want that too. <laughs> it's so cool to be a cat. Should I go? Hold A to chain jumps. Ah, like this. Chain, it's anything that connects different parts. Like we can have a chain as, um, as a jewelry thing, or we can have chain of restaurants, right? A chain of shops. Uh, in this case, it's chain, it's the chain of jumps. So we jump, 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 and jump. I see. Okay. Oh, what does it say? City technical new. Okay, let's chain jump <laughs> backwards. Uh, city technical new network, I guess. So it's a network. So probably I'm right. It's power plant that produced electricity or something like that. Okay, we're moving on. Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. Can we eat something? No. Actually, guys, you know, this is a good and beautiful place to show you some basic parts of the cat. Because we will need them, right? So let's have a look at cat's anatomy. Of course, it's a bit of a joke. It's just basic things we can see in cats. Like we know that all cats have whiskers. They're like special hair that helps cats feel the space around them. Also, cats have fangs. This one thing is called fang, a fang. It's a type of a tooth used to bite something. Without fangs, cats wouldn't be able to hunt and to catch mice, for example. Of course, the things that we just adore about cats are their paws. So this thing, this part, is called a paw. And a paw has a pad, so these very gentle, very soft things on a paw are called pads. And not gentle things that we can find on a paw are called claws. So with claws, cats can scratch things, and pads are very soft and gentle, and they can use it to just touch you. So this is basic cat anatomy. So we can see our friend here is licking, is grooming itself, and it has whiskers, like four, <laughs> four paws, which is good, and of course four pads too. And I hope all of them have their claws and fangs because it's very important for hunting. I guess we're going hunting, so we will need these words. We will need fangs and claws to hunt. Oh, wh wh where did they go? Oh my God. Where is my night vision? Ah, here. Wow. So we're crouching, okay. Oh. Hold LT to observe. Let's observe. Mm -hmm. So we go there. Okay, so we we need to jump on the beam. This thing, this thing, is called a beam. It can be made from metal or wood. Doesn't make any difference. But it's all. But everything like that is called a beam. Oh, this is not good. Mm, come on. Oh. 
I can do anything. Yeah. Do you even care, my friends? <laughs> they don't care. Yeah. Oh. Um. Hmm. We fell down. Deep down. They're they're calling for us. Let's meow. Meow. Okay. Oh no, I think I think our cat was injured. Oh no no no. Oh my god, something's wrong with Oh no, with his lag. I don't know. So he had a trauma. He had uh, some injuries. He was injured. Maybe he broke a leg or something. Uh, his paw. Can he break his paw? I don't know. Oh! What is this? Rats? Wow. Okay, I guess we we will find out. That's what we we're, we're going to find out. But let's do that next time. If you like the video, please let me know. And now we need to go over the words we've seen this time. How will we do that? You can see the same pictures that you have already seen throughout the video. This will help you remember the words. I will give you a few hints and you will have time to remember the words. This word is the name of our game and it means an animal that got separated from its owner or an animal that has no owner. It lives in the streets and it has no home. It can be a noun or an adjective. It's stray. Yeah, it can be a noun, a stray, or an adjective, a stray cat, a stray dog. Now let's remember cat patterns, the way they look. This guy, let's remember the color it has. Has two words. It's ginger or red. And the type of pattern it has. It's one color or, in other words, solid color. If it's the solid color cat, what about this? Not one color, but two colors. It's called bi color. Bi usually means two. Bi color. This guy is a version of a bi color cat, but it has a specific pattern. Color point. If a cat has three colors, we can call it tri color. And if a cat has these things, Try to remember the word for this. It is called this. So the things are called stripes. Stripes, one stripe, two stripes, three stripes. And the pattern is called tabby. Tabby cat, a cat with stripes. Can you remember what we call the thing on a cat's body? Two words. We have two words for this. One is like we use it for humans, for people, and one is not. So it's called hair or fur. And we have three types of fur, basic types. This is short hair or short fur. This one is long hair or long fur. And this cute guy is bold or hairless. It has no hair, no fur. Here we have many words that describes cat routines. This action, a cute one, when a cat shows it loves us or that it wants to eat, <laughs> for example, it's to rub. This thing is called to groom, to groom. A part of grooming is this to lick. After a cat licks us, it 
it bites us to buy. Of course, cats love this. Cats love this and this is to stretch, to stretch. A word that sounds very close to stretch is this. Scratch, scratch. Cat can scratch a sofa, for example, or it can scratch itself. And of course, what does a cat say? It says meow. Let's remember the anatomy of a cat. These things, like special hair, they're called whiskers. And these dangerous teeth are called fangs. One fang, two fangs. This part of a cat's body is called a paw. A dangerous part of a paw, very sharp one. Cats use it to scratch things. It's called a claw. And this thing is not dangerous and it's called a pad. Okay, and finally, let's look at the story words, the words we used to describe what was happening. First of all, where did we find ourselves? What is the place? It's a special place to produce energy. What is it called? It's called a power plant. We drank from this thing. We drank from a puddle. We also walked on this. It's called a beam, a beam. And unfortunately, in the end, we got some trauma. We were injured. You can make sentences with these words in the comments and I will check them and I will give you my feedback. That's it for today. Please share your opinion in the comment section below what you have learned in this video, what you would like to see in this video series. And do you like cats? Are you a cat person or a dog's person? <laughs> I will be waiting and see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Да все, все, выключаю.